Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, I'm going to give you 10 text messages <laughs> to send to a guy um, that he will absolutely love. Trust me, these are great ones. And if this is your first time to this channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side of this video to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's get started. So if you're in a situation right now where you're not really sure what to send a guy, but you um, kind of want to ramp up the attraction a bit, maybe you feel like things have kind of died down a little bit, uh, here are some text messages that you can send them that will, um, that will make them feel really great about you, that will ramp up that attraction, that will make them want you more. So text message number one that you can send that's really flirty is uh, you, you want to send him a message that lets him know that you think that he's attractive and it's kind of just a, you know, like dropped in there. Um, you, you don't even have to put any emphasis on this. So a lot of times what's really powerful is to throw in something but just continue on with something else. So for instance, uh, in this case, you'd send him a, t uh, a text message that might say something like, you looked really handsome yesterday or you looked really sexy yesterday. Um, and then you would just continue on with another conversation on a completely different thread that um, has nothing to do with that sexy comment or that handsome comment. And it'll kind of like, because if you just throw that text message out there and then you don't say anything after that and let him respond, it's kind of like, uh, okay, thanks, you know? Um, whereas if you uh, continue on the conversation, it's kind of like um, he might respond to it and it might not. Either way, it'll be really, really hot. Flirty text number two is actually, so what you're going to do here is you want to let him know that you're thinking about him um, and may maybe that some conversation that you had recently was really meaningful. So for instance, what you might say is, um, I really can't seem to concentrate today. Like what you said to me yesterday, um, I, I just can't stop thinking about it, you know, or, or I was thinking about it all night long. Some, something in, in those, uh, along those lines. It's, um, basically what you're doing here is you're, um, is you're telling him that, uh, uh, you know, one, one of the things that really motivates guys and makes guys feel good about themselves is feeling like they're attractive. And so when you say things like this or you, you say something that makes him feel like his personality even more is attractive, that, that can be um, uh, a huge ego booster for guys. And if you know anything about guys... Um, you know, if you, if you boost their egos in the right way, um, you can really make them feel more attracted to you. So text message number three is actually going to be one where, um, basically what you want to know, what you want to let him know is that, uh, he's a calming presence in your life or he's a calming presence to you. And so what you're going to say here is something like, um, you know, I wish you were here with me or, or, uh, or I feel you here with me right now, you know? Um, and uh, basically what you're telling him is that, uh, so guys have this thing where they want to be, uh, biologically, they want to be providers and protectors. It makes them feel like men. It makes them feel like they are, uh, they, they are uh, respected, that they're uh, worthy men. And so when you tell him that um, you wish that he was there with you, um, you know, especially if you're in a situation where uh, there's something uh, going on that might be uh, like you have an exam or you're um, in a weird work environment or something like that. Um, it can make him feel like like uh, he's a really strong and powerful guy and uh, um, it, it'll uh, it might even give him goosebumps. So text message number four is actually, uh, so what you're going to do here is you're going to let him know that you enjoy doing things with him or you enjoy uh, events more when he's there. And so, um, you know, it, you can just send him, say something like, ooh, I, you know, I can't wait to, to do that again. I, you know, I had so much fun with you. 
Um, it's just a subtle way of of telling him of uh, uh, it's almost kind of like a um, like you're dangling a carrot or something. Um, <laughs> use that metaphor, and uh, it, it'll make him want to uh, move forward, and uh, uh, it'll make him feel like um, uh, the his, your relationship to him is special. So text message, flirty text message number five is what you're going to do here is give him some kind of kinky or sexual visual um, and just mentioning it casually. And it uh, this, this, um, this can get a guy thinking about it for days. I mean, seriously. Um, yeah, there's like w- one of the things you could do is uh, if, if a guy asks you what's going on, like what are you up to tonight? And you say, oh, I'm just, you know, like hanging out in my boy shorts watching a movie or something. He, he might end up sitting there thinking about you in boy shorts for, uh, for an entire day. It, it'll like totally hook his mind. Uh, another one you could say is, oh, sorry, I just got out of the shower. Um, you know, and then follow up with something. And so you're kind of casually mentioning it, mentioning it. And what it'll do is it like, it'll distract his brain and it'll put an image in his mind of you getting out of the shower. And, uh, it'll really tease his brain in that way. All right. So flirty text message number six. So this one is you're going to kind of pique his curiosity and make him wonder about what you mean. Um, by telling him that he was in your dream. And so um, what you're going to say is, I had a weird dream about you last night, right? And so um, what this does is uh, immediately, if you tell a guy that you had a dream about him, um, he immediately goes to thinking that (laughs) it was something sexual. And so it'll just put that idea in his mind and it'll... um, uh, it's it's a great way to ramp up that attraction, that sexual attraction, sexual chemistry that you guys have between each other. So text message number seven. And what you're going to do here is you're going to either ask him to dream about you or uh, or tell him to dream about you. Either one can be really hot. Um, and, and it, and it kind of breaks that whole thing. One, one of the things that you have to realize is that a lot of guys... Um, have this fear that a woman will lose sexual interest in them. It's a massive nightmare scenario that a lot of guys experience, even in marriage or in relationships, especially in marriage and relationships. And so one way that you can kind of um, uh, hit another one of those kind of feelings of sexual tension that a, that a guy wants to have with you is by saying, hey, um, will you dream about me tonight? Or you can say... Um, uh, uh, you know, dream about me tonight. E- either either one of those is a really um, uh, a really great text message to send to spike up that sexual chemistry. So, text message number eight is um, if you're going to send a text message to a guy, say you're about to go on a date, and um, you kind of want maybe he hasn't talked to you, maybe you just want to uh, send something to him. Um, a, a fun way to send something would be to kind of poke at him and and just uh, make sh- you know uh, hit him hit him with like the the um, I hope you're not getting tired uh, <laughs> because we we're gonna have a fun night tonight um, text message which will pique his curiosity and it'll make him uh, it, it'll drive up his imagination and so um, what you're gonna say is don't tire yourself out you know, uh, today or this afternoon, uh, we have plans tonight. So some, something like that. Um, so you don't want to go too over the edge on the, uh, sexual curiosity factor, but, um, you're also kind of peeking it a little bit and, uh, making him like, Ooh, you know, what, like, what, what do you think we're going to do tonight? Um, which, which is, uh, uh, it's a fun tease. So text message number nine is uh, basically what you're going to do is tell him that his voice is comforting to him, to you. Um, and so uh, what you're going to say is, uh, I want to hear your voice or talk to me. And this is a great one, especially if you want to get him on the phone um, or you've been texting a lot and you, you want to talk to him. Um, this can encourage him to want to talk to you on the phone and... Uh, 
Uh, it, it can be a real. It, it it also uh, it also soothes him and makes him feel um, like uh, like he's really attractive to you. So text message number ten. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna send him a text where you're going to ask him what his opinion is on an outfit that you're wearing and, and just sending him that even if even if you don't actually send him a picture of your outfit which uh you know you probably will um it, it's it'll pique his curiosity and it'll make him uh get him excited um about the entire conversation that you're about to have um and so what, what you're gonna say is i'm trying on a new outfit or i'm trying on an outfit uh can i get your honest opinion on it and uh, that's a great way to uh, pique his curiosity and his Im- imagination for uh, what's going on and, and what you've got going on. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.